Welcome to CAD Link for NetSuite. Today we will be covering how you can integrate Autodesk Inventor with NetSuite and the benefits of doing so. CAD Link, NetSuite's SDN partner, is a third-party tool to integrate engineering BOMs from CAD, PDM, or PLM systems to NetSuite. Developed by QBuild Software, we have over 800 customers worldwide and have established ourselves as the gold standard in the ERP integration industry. CADLINK is a bi-directional tool used to create, compare, and modify bill of materials and item data. Synchronizing your bill of materials and items with your CAD data will reduce errors and inaccuracies. Doing so will ultimately prevent unnecessary costs from scrap parts, shop floor confusions, and inventory error. Here we have a multi-level assembly open in Inventor. Let's imagine that you're an engineer that has just finished designing this model and it's time to enter it into NetSuite. You can launch CADLINK directly from this interface. CADLINK is now pulling the part and bill of material information, such as part number, description, and quantity from Inventor, and doing a live comparison with the part and bill of material information from NetSuite. The results of that comparison are shown in this Excel like grid. As you can see, CADLINK has maintained the multi level assembly structure. The colors highlight the differences between the assembly and the item master. So let's talk about these different colors. White lines represent parts from your inventor model that already exist in your NetSuite ERP item master. Lines highlighted in green represent parts that exist in your model, but not in your item master. CADLINK will create these parts in your item master with the appropriate part number, description, and quantity, and then add that item to the bill of materials for you. Rows highlighted in gray represent an item to be removed from the bill of materials because they do not exist in your CAD model. CADLINK will remove this part from the bill of materials to synchronize it with your model. Fields highlighted in yellow represent discrepancies between the CAD and ERP data. By right-clicking on these fields, you can decide which description is correct. Alternatively, you can also enter your own description. When you press save, the description will be pushed bi-directionally to update both the CAD file and NetSuite. Scrolling to the right, we have some NetSuite specific fields that can be assigned for new parts being created in NetSuite. CADLINK pulls these drop-down lists directly from NetSuite. Operations can be assigned to manufactured assemblies or sub-assemblies from the CADLINK interface. Click on the Routings tab in the right-hand panel and select an assembly or sub-assembly. You can manually add work centers one by one, or you can load a template from an existing bill of materials. The BOM Changes tab will list all the changes that take place when you save CADLINK. This helps you keep track of exactly what CADLINK is changing in your ERP and CAD system and review the changes before saving. You can also export these BOM changes as a PDF for your records. The CAD Properties tab is a read-only screen that allows you to view the properties of your CAD model without having to close CADLINK. This makes it easier for your engineers to view their CAD data. The Messages tab lists messages that need to be addressed before CADLINK can save. For example, this message is telling you that this part is no longer active in NetSuite. As an engineer, maybe I need to discuss this with my manager. For now, I will exclude it from this bill of materials. You will notice as I uncheck the save box, the save button, which is currently grayed out, will become enabled. CADLINK also lists warnings to ensure that quality data is entered in. Thanks for watching.